Well, the sun's shining here. It's another beautiful South Carolina day, but along the North Carolina border, our county's there, as you know, the, the rivers are flooding and uh, they have not even crested yet in, in some parts of the state. Uh, this uh, proves, uh, we, we think, that the, the predictions were correct about this hurricane and its, its power. We, we've never had this, this much rain this much water in the state. We had uh, the rain that fell on South Carolina, but also that that fell in parts of North Carolina is coming down into our river, river systems with the, the Walker Mall, the Lumber, the Great PD, the Little PD, and the Lynch's River. And as you know, we have about 200 roads closed and others susceptible to flooding. So uh, this is uh, the, the, the worst of times for many of our friends and neighbors in the PD area. So it's always wonderful when people will come forward to help. We're always looking for volunteers. Volunteers make up the main strength of what we do. The governments and officials and others can make the plans under which everyone works, but it's the volunteers who provide the strength and often the, the volunteers come in the forms of, of just individuals, sometimes people, sometimes companies, corporations of all description. And we have a great happy announcement to be made today by the United Health Group. And I will call on those here representing them and the Central Carolina Community Foundation to provide you with those details. And we'll start with Mr. Garland Scotty Scott, who's the CEO of United Healthcare for the South Atlantic. Scotty, if you please. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Um, on behalf of uh, United Health Group, First, I want to start by saying our hearts go out to the people who have lost loved ones during the storm. Um, we are we're deeply concerned about the impact to South Carolina, and we're committed to helping rebuild the state and the work that's going on. Um, just like to say that we hope other individuals and businesses will, will consider donating to uh, first SC fund. Um, in the rebuilding process and really want to thank the leadership of Governor McMaster and the work that the team and all the people that are that are working so hard on behalf of South Carolinians South Carolinians and what they've been doing um, for us I'd also uh, just like to say uh, along with Governor McMaster thank you um, Sunquist for the for the work that you're doing with the Central Carolina Community Foundation and helping people live healthier lives so with that, I want to transition to you and introduce Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Joanne? Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm Joanne Turnquist, President and CEO of Central Carolina Community Foundation. We at the foundation are honored to have worked with now Ambassador, then Governor Haley, to establish the 1SC Fund after the horrific floods in 2015. Since that time, our grants committee that is made up of business and civic leaders from across the state as well as trustees from community foundations, both ours in the Midlands and those in the PD, the Grand Strand and the Low Country areas of our state have been able to provide grants because of the generous gifts such as the one from United Healthcare of over $3.6 million that have helped close to 20,000 people recover. This disaster is one of unique magnitude. It hasn't ended. It's going to continue. And the people that are being affected are those in rural areas. They don't have a Home Depot down the street. They don't have a Lowe's down the street. And oftentimes they don't have the volunteers or the funds to even know where to start. So this incredibly generous gift from United Healthcare will really spur momentum. With the leadership of Governor McMaster and the disaster recovery team led by J.R. Sanderson, whose team, by the way, has provided us with incredible information on those that are most vulnerable, next week we will issue the first round of grants in support of Hurricane Florence and the ensuing flooding relief. We are excited to do that because again, the need is so great. 
we urge everyone to consider giving a gift, not just now, but through the next few years. We just finished putting the last of those refugees from the floods of 2015 back home. So this is going to be a long haul. And again, with all of your help and with generous gifts, such as the amazing gift from United Health Group, thank you, we will recover. Thank you. And thank you, Governor McMaster. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, some details, as was uh, mentioned by Ms. Turnquist, the one SC fund, that's O-N-E-S-C fund, uh, was established in 2015 after that big flood with uh, Governor Haley's leadership and it's distributed over 3.4 million dollars worth of relief uh, to non-profits in, in our state and of course then that in turn goes to the to the people themselves more than 19,600 as Ms. Turnquist mentioned have been helped over 1,600 families returned home and now here we go again and this, this $500,000 generous, most generous gift by United Health is a, a wonderful uh, start for this effort. We hope it will encourage more and remind people all across the state that they, we do have ways that they can help even if they can't get up and, and go and, and do it themselves. Uh, it's onescfund.org or you can make a check payable to the Central Carolina Community Foundation 1SC Fund. That's at 2711 Middleburg Drive, Suite 213, Columbia 29204. And if you want to volunteer and you can't find a place, you can go to www.volunteersc.org. And remember always for updates on the flood, on the hurricane, go to sc.emd.org. Uh, uh, and there are links there that can take you to show exactly where the flooding in is exactly where those roads are being overtopped i want to remind people again don't drive on those roads we've, we've had tragedies in this state and others over the years and recently where people have driven around barricades or even if they're not barricades on roads covered with water these roads wash out fairly fairly quickly in a big flood and you it may appear that you can drive right across a hundred yards of shallow water and it turns out that the road is washed out and your company vehicle go into it and you might not be able to get out. So this is a, this is a great day and we, we appreciate this much, very much. We appreciate the spirit of the people of South Carolina and our corporate citizens who are willing to, to stand up and help. If there are any questions, we'd be glad to try to answer them. Did the fund have a balance in it already? Ms. Turnquist? Uh, we had very small amount because we spend it in order to help those in need. So all of the dollars coming in now will go to aid the victims of Hurricane Florence, those affected by Hurricane Florence. Any more questions? Governor, how many state employees do you think are affected by your two executive orders? We are trying to determine that we'll have to receive that from the various locations the various state offices as you know the executive orders that i issued are extended to non-essential personnel and those are, are essentially local decisions to be made in those state offices about which are essential and non-essential but we'll find that we'll get those figures and we're, we're accumulating them now and speaking of driving over flooded roads and going around barricades, you know, two of the deaths were from, seem to be from uh, jail officials who drove around barricades. What do you have to say about those tragedies and should jail officials be transporting mental health patients? Well, the, the question is one of driving around barricades or driving over roads that have, are covered with water. And the same applies to everyone. I have contacted or attempted to speak personally to the families of everyone who, whom we lost during this, this crisis, this tragedy, uh, and th these included, and our numbers are now up to, to nine lives lost as a result of these kinds of, of accidents. But it's, that's why I say again, and you've heard it repeated 
ad infinitum in every every state where there's been flooding like this is you, you can never tell what lies under that water it, the road may be there it may not be there don't drive across it and if there is a barricade up do not go around that barricade were you, you said you attempted were you able to talk to families of those two people so i spoke to to uh, uh did not speak to mr green but i spoke to the other father It's dangerous. Every, everything, all of our resources have shifted to the PD region because again, although the, the winds are gone and the rain's not falling, the water's still there and the worst is yet to come in the PD. That's why you have sections of I-95 are, are still closed, large sections. Over all the, all the rivers, over the Lynches, the Lynches River, the PD, the Walker Mall, where the lumber comes into the, the little PD, the Great PD, all those rivers are, are, are uh, subject to flooding, and that, that's where all of our personnel are now. And if, if you, uh, you can go on the highway department, the Department of Transportation's website, and you can see, uh, see pictures of, of what's going on in those areas. This is, again, the South Carolina team is strong. We are enormously well organized, and the communities have cooperated and worked with their neighbors and with the government officials and others to see to it that we recover as quickly as possible and lose as little as possible in this hurricane and this flood. And if you go on those websites, you can get a, a good feel of what's going on. Don't be misled to think that it's all the danger is gone because it is still heavy in the PD. No one is in Nichols right now. Everyone has, has evacuated and they're still evacuating along those rivers. about school closings and makeup days? That's something you're going to have to address? That's a question of state law. And the, the districts themselves can excuse, I think, three days. And, but then after that is it a question of state law that can be addressed by the legislature when they come into session. Any more questions? We thank you very much. And thank you, thank thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.